guys in this video I'm gonna show you how to start your AIM instance in debug mode and it's an, it's an easier and faster approach than using logger factory class you can simply debug your code and figure out uh, what's going wrong in your code right for this simply come to this uh, AIM profile 0 to folder and go inside it and open terminal and you have to write this command this is the command that you have to write I'm gonna explain to you what this command is. Java jar, you're opening this jar file. XC debug shows that you are opening this instance in debug mode. And just you know this line for now. The socket in suspend server. And this is the address. Like address where you want to open your this a debugger instance. Right? And this is the file name. CQ5 author p4502.jar. And everything is just uh, like this is the syntax that you have to learn right uh, after writing this you can simply press enter so now it's starting in uh, debug mode let's wait for it a few seconds I can minimize it uh, once it's done it's gonna open it in here automatically Alright, so done. It's open in debugger mode. Now our, now our AIM instance is running in debug mode. Now all we have to do is simply go on any ID which you are using. Uh, in my case, I'm using IntelliJ. So go on IntelliJ and click on add configuration. Plus I can search for remote JVM uh, control. Remote JVM, where is it? Remote JVM debug. And give it a name. EMG Burger. and the port should be same as the address here <laughs> the address is 3000 so it should be same 3000 right and here you can select this my site dot core and you wanna debug all the code which is inside core right and click apply and then ok right uh, now we can now let's go on this core main and let's say I want to debug a model let's search for an out of the box model here is it uh, this hello world is out of the box model so I want to debug some of the code inside this model right so first of all I need to go on the page where this model is dropped this component is dropped let me go there this component is usually dropped in a in page Alright, so you can see this component, hello world component, here you can see the title. Now, you can go back on here and we can start click on this button. Uh, before that, we have to like write breakpoints. So breakpoints are usually the point where you want to start debugging your code. Let's say I want to start debugging from here, like I want to see if this line is working perfectly fine, this line is working fine or not, like I'm getting the page manager of this or not. Uh, what what whatever I'm getting in the current page path and the value of message is correct or not these are the things that you want to debug right just click on this and make it back point and click on this uh, debug am debugger shift so it's connected to this target now what you have to do is simply go on this page and refresh it when you refresh it it simply redirects to you here right so you can see what you're getting here in this line you're getting the source resolver current source source type so in the source type you are getting this path right so simply click on f8 or this f8 to go to next step right so you're going to the next step and we can zoom it you can see what we're getting in page manager this is the object we are getting in page manager this is our session these are things we are getting in page manager right so what you're getting so when you are here in the second line these are the stuff that you these are the stuff that you're getting uh, these are from the, this line the line previous to this line if you're like if you are in line number 57 then you're gonna get the debug stuff of, from line number 56 right one one step previous so let's click on f8 again or next step now you can see you are getting current page path hmm. uh, 
uh, you can see current you're getting current resource resource type this and everything you can also uh, ex expand it let's see what you're getting here I'll click on this uh, after finishing this uh, mapping uh, like this is the this line is connect this line is connected with this like these line these three line are the one line right because they are mapping to each other so after finishing this line you're gonna get the result of this line 56 where is its current path so you're getting current page path right because it's uh, this line is completely finished after line 58 so on line number 16 uh, we are getting results for line number 56 to line number 58 current page path equal to this hello world uh, now we are getting message as well this is null right now this is how you can debug your code right so that's a very easy way to do it um, first you have to start your AE minister a instance in debugger mode and what usually happens when we are having a project we always start a AM instance in debug mode we don't really have to start in like normal mo normal instance and then for debugging purpose we, we will switch back and forth between uh, this normal mode and debug mode no no we always start a instance in debug mode that's how you can do it so i hope you like it